Let's go through the press points we're going to use on the foot. And now in these exercises, it's not going to matter whether you have a high arch or a low arch. We believe that the only important part of the arch is really that it's an effective and functional arch. Here are the zones that we're going to be referring to when talking about press foot and press basics with press X. One, tips of toes. Two, knuckles of toes. Three, inner ray of the big toe. Four, outer rays of the two small toes. Five, arch. Six, heel. So if these are my toes, this is the top of my foot, here's the bottom. The very tip of the toe, right before it rounds out, but just that very tip right there. Then we talk a lot about the foot knuckles. So just like the knuckles on your hands, the foot knuckles on your feet are here, and then pressing through the foot knuckles is gonna be pressing through the bottom of these feet here and you've got five, just like you've got five tips of your toes, you've got five foot knuckles. And so we can also play with pressing through different foot knuckles. Pressure a little bit more through the outer part of the foot versus the inner part of the foot. And this is what we call in physiology, supination and pronation. The inside of the foot, we're gonna be more talking about this first ray, and when I say first ray, it's this area of the big toe, the big toe foot knuckle, and this medial arch here. This is one of your important arches in your foot, right here. So that's what we're talking about, the inside of the foot. And the outside of the foot, you can think about the last two toes here, and the foot knuckles associated with them, and that area on the outside of the foot there. Then we're gonna talk about the arch, as far as this transverse arch here, we're gonna talk about this arch here going on the horizontal and putting, and putting pressure through this area of your body. Then we're gonna talk about heel pressures. And when we talk about heel, we're talking about the back of the heel back here. The inner foot or the inner ray pressure, which some people call pronation and supination or the outer foot pressure, the last two toes toes four and five, and their rays, arch pressure through here. Even if we're not able to get that arch all the way down, we can utilize some techniques that tries to mobilize that arch, so we'll be talking about that later. And then we can also use heel pressure, which is gonna activate more of the posterior chain of your body. So either way, we're gonna train the arch, whether we have a high arch or a low arch, because training the arch doesn't mean making it higher or making it lower, it just means making it more functional, which is essentially what your body needs to give your joints that healthy sliding and gliding on one another. A lot of people have high arches and they were told that it was a good thing, but it's actually a very stiff arch. In the same vein, a lot of times people were told they have a low arch and it's not a good thing, but we've seen them actually use their arch in gait analysis, spring off their foot, so it is a functional arch. We're not gonna use pronation and supination for a pathological meaning. And what I mean by that is a lot of times you will hear on the internet that, oh, somebody pronates or they supinates. They'll be talking about the, their gait, the way they walk or the way they run. That's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about just the true motion of what is pronation and what is supination. And everybody does those two motions. We're gonna be simplifying it and talking about it as pressure a little bit more towards the inside of the foot and pressure a little bit towards the outside of the foot, which everybody has the ability to do. And we here at PressX believe that you should actually train both in order to have the most balanced foot and the most balanced body. So to review the zones we have, one, tips of toes, two knuckles of toes, three inner ray of the big toe, four outer rays of the two small toes, five arch, six heel.